welcome back to the channel we are back with another video for html course from for beginners from basic to advanced now let us create a simple example first we need to add the html file inside this html file i'll change i'll be changing the title as register form so once when you are going to register something you are just going to use this form here is one more tag that is called as the action tag this action tag it you have to add the backend tag where you are going to add all your data to it for now we don't have any action tag so i'm just going to add it as hash and then here you have another one that is called as get that is called as the method this method has a get method and post method if you are posting some things into your database then you need to add the post method if you are going to get something from your database then you are going to use the get method now i'm posting something into the database because this is a registration form first when you are going to register everything will be added inside the database right so for that we are going to use this post method again inside this we are going to add So this will be the basic and the simple one. We are going to use all the tags that we are there. Label. Then you have, then you have an attribute which is called as the for attribute. Here this for is going to specify for what you are going to use this. I am going to use this for this. I mean for what thing you are going to use this label. So that is for the name I am going to use this label tag. So I am just going to add name here. name and then i had also told you so this will be the label the name the next will be your input so for this input i am going to use a text field because this is for the name so i am going to use the text and then name this is for your back end whatever you are going to use then you need to add uh, the name field so i'm just going to give the name as name itself in this um, if you want to add the place holder you can also add the place holder same name then there is a one more uh, attribute that is there which is the required attribute this is the basic validation that you are going to add for any of your tags so this is one type of add one field that we have written here for this field i'm just going to add two br so that there is sufficient amount of space left between two fields in the same way i'm just going to copy this one and i'll paste it over here i want three fields so the second one will be for the email you can use email here this will be for the email and in the place of name let's let's write it as email and then here in the text format here also you have the type is equals to email where and whatever email that you are going to add that will be given to your backend and also change the place holder email <laughs> and this is also the mandatory field that i want next one will be the password if you have to set the password for password and i'll change this name also as password and here as you know we have also the password type and name i'm just going to give as a pass one and here the place holder will be password again and this field is also mandatory and it is required next one i'm going to use it for a confirm the password confirm password and the name also i'll give it as confirm password type is it will be equal to password and the name i'll give it as password place holder again it will be as confirm the password and this field is also required so this will be your name email password and confirm password field with this if you want to add the date of birth of that particular person you can use date of birth field 
you can also use it with the label tag again there's no there's nothing that you have to use it with the label tag or without but the good practice is that you are going to use it with the label tag with the for attribute and then the input tag i'm just going to show it here for you roughly date of birth is equals to type and inside this type i'm just going to use date here you can choose the date of birth of that particular person if you want to add any files or i'll just queue add or upload upload your cv and inside this upload i'm going to give an input file input file for type file so here's how you are going to add the file again the two br tags here for the better adding if you want to choose your gender just going to add choose your gender all you have to use is input field type is equals to radio button name is equals to gender and your first one will be male with the same inputs i'm just going to copy this paste and paste and i'm going to add two br tags here you'll be having the female and here you have others save it so this is your basic form the main thing that you have to add here are the buttons so we have a two buttons of which do not read require any type of validation or any type of backend script so i'm just going to use the submit button and also the reset button save this i'll be adding one more br for this save it again and now when you want to bind this at form together or if you want some outline to it you have one thing that is called as field set at tag so once when you're going to open your form tag you have to add it inside your form tag and before your form tag ends you need to close that field set now you can see one square is being added to your particular form with this field set tag inside this field tag you have another tag which is called as the legend tag you can give any content to this legend tag uh, say for example um, i have register save now you can see that this register is being added here in the top left corner if you want that inside in the middle then you also have uh, the center attribute you can use this center attribute to add it inside the inside this particular square box if you don't want this register then this is a uh, by default the particular uh, styling of this legend tag and the field set tag now let us open this in live server so this is the register how you are going to see this how this is going to be shown here now first i'm going to add the name as rohit and then the email will be chit at the rate gmail.com and the password whatever you want to set that will be the password and the confirm password mail the date of birth you can choose anything here if you want you can choose any file this is this is not mandatory so i'm not going to just choose the file i'll just add submit just to show you how it is going to work when i'm going to click a submit now you can see that the action button that we have given here is hash now this page isn't working why because there is no hash that we have given there is no backend scripting that we have given if you have any dot java page or dot jsp page or any dot ruby uh, dot php page you can use it inside this particular action now since we don't have this i'm just going to remove this action and this post so that's just to show you how it is going to how how, how these are going to get fetched to the back end these are all the data that i have added i'm just going to give it as submit now you can see that the fields which are mandatory or for the fields which we have added required attribute if you're not going to fill them out it is going to ask you to fill them again so now you can see i have filled it now i'm going to give the submit button again okay we have not saved it here i'm again going to open it inside the live server now you can see name rohit email rohit at gmail.com password and confirm password 
male date of birth okay i'll just give it as submit so once i'm going to use a submit now here you can see inside my uh, inside my url that whatever data i have given for this is being showing here for the name you have you can see it is being given as rohit and for the email this you can see these things that are there these are the names of that particular attribute for that particular name attribute we have given the name right so you can see for this name attribute it is small nam now you can see it is name and rohit for the email so it is just email so now you can see it is email here and for the password it is pass one that i have given 112345 and the password or the confirm password that you can say now you can see for this password i have given it as pass one and for this confirm password i have given the name as password so in that particular field it is going to go and store in that particular database field or in that particular database column now we can see that there is password field here and this password and this password they are not matching to match these two password so that if one if the passwords are not matching it should not get submitted for that you need to write the validation for javascript that we are going to do in some other videos and now next you have the reset button i just want to show you the reset button as well now whatever the data is that are there that i have added these data if i just click on the reset button then they are just going to get it reset it is not going to store it is just going to give the reset content here so this is a basic example of a form try these try these forms yourself try creating a login form try creating some other forms to register with some other fields and some other attributes and tags i wish you all the best for learning these passwords meet you again in the next video with some more concepts of html till then keep learning and stay tuned bye, -bye.